Yeah. I just wanted to ask you, did I hear you right saying that you believe that you thought that acoustics began the process? Did I hear that right? When did I did I say that? Uh, oh, listening to the radio. Sure, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, of course, of course, of course. That's right. Yeah. I mean, it just you know, chronologically for me, uh, it it was my first introduction to a certain what I felt was a visual experience without seeing object, without seeing in the sense of seeing objects. Very simply, say, in other, there were visual details like color. But the color was not, and, the, and in, the, in, the, in the story, the color was identified. But uh, in listening to it, uh, it was all the more powerful for not being attached to a, a visualizable object. That's the point. Because I've been thinking about what you said earlier this afternoon. Yeah. When, about the idea of the soldiers uh, disappearing acoustically. Mm -hmm. And the fate of the way I was thinking of Oh, right, right, right. I mean, it, it, it's it, in a way it's been sort of uh, it's uh, I mean the, the uh, this is probably just my own uh, discovery of it, but it seems as if aha uh -huh, we can stop now the, the master is here. I promised him that we'd keep we'd keep discussing discussing until <laughs> I'm glad we made it. I thought we, we we might not have a discussion long enough till uh, Wolfgang appears. So. Uh, uh, I just want to briefly say that you know, in in recent years, the emergence of sound, you know, it seems to be playing an increasingly important part in popular culture and in in various kinds of of, of artistic uh, installations and demonstrations and so, and so on. And I, of course, it's always been there, but it seems to me to be uh, taking on a new valency. I don't know uh, if this is true or not, or whether it's just my my awareness of it. I mean, just in a commercial way, for example, the importance of uh, surround sound and so on in 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 uh, uh, you know viewing video in, in, in both home video and watching it and the, the importance allocated to sound the fact that you now have you know so and so many tracks that can be played and so on and so forth uh, it seems as if uh, the importance of of, of sound uh, seems to be uh, spreading in, or being emerging more clearly. In, in, in various aspects of life, uh, you know, of, of, of our culture. And uh, um, this is something that maybe for a while had been, had been uh, subordinated to a tendency to privilege visuality. I mean, I'm always struck by the fact that we talk about like television, where their sound uh, plays an, an important part. And this is not just in, in English, but in most languages I know. And you know, so that the the acoustical dimension there it seems to be subordinated to the visual. And so, at the same time, there are all kinds of ways in which the experience of sound, and, and not just the voice, but sound as a larger category, seems to be uh, uh, affecting and being used. And so, um, uh, at the same time, at the same time that, uh, and correct me if I'm wrong, that in the United States at least. And probably because of a largely commercially dominated uh, uh, sense of radio, radio as a medium has always played a very, very subordinate, tend to, uh, a subordinate part, particularly in development of art and uh, of various kinds. In, for example, in Germany, you have a very, very strong tradition that continues today of Hörspiele, of radio plays, and great, you know, ab absolutely first-rate writers like Gunther Eich and others have, you know, written and continue to write for it. And just the radio as a medium. Uh, function is much more in the foreground in in Europe as a medium of cultural experimentation and and, 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 and transmission and uh, and so that this has been one factor I think that has uh, perhaps uh, diminished the attention that could be given to acoustical media that now is coming in other in other ways as, as well so I'm you know quite fascinated by this the relation of sound to body the relation of sounds to location uh, Etc. The, the the status of the voice in an acoustical uh, voice, all of these things 
uh, you know, fascinate me without my really being able to say very much intelligent about it. I said, I'm just aware of it as a, as a problem. And this experience of, you know, radio was just a very early, it's kind of, I, I realize now looking back was something, you know, that was uh, sort of uh, initiating me into, into, this whole, into this whole issue, the whole question that comes back now in a lot of different, in a lot of different ways. But uh, thank you very much, and I, and I think we can give the floor to this time.